In this movie, you prepare the scene to animate text objects using the audio animation controller. The idea is to animate text or instruments without keyframing them by making them respond to audio files controlling behavior such as stretch and bend. In order for this to work, you need separate audio tracks for each instrument, in this case a trumpet track, a bass track, and also separate tracks for the low and high congas. Each of these individual tracks is to be used to deform a line of text, but the overall mix is what you hear in the final animation. The difficulty here lies in creating such audio files. In this particular example, the 30 second music piece you'll be using was generated by a computer using a MIDI setup. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. It enables you to hook up digital musical instruments to a computer and lets you save various instrument sounds on separate tracks. However, 3ds Max is not compatible with MIDI files as they are saved from a MIDI setup in .mid format. You still need to save the multiple tracks into individual WAV files. This is how the WAV files look in this particular instance displayed in a freeware audio editor named Audacity. The WAV files have been saved in mono to help with file size, usually get better quality with stereo tracks. Notice how the mix of all instruments is pretty heavy with data as instruments are playing simultaneously. Individually though, it's a different story. Notice how the conga sounds are sharper, more defined and intermittent. These will be easy to work with. The trumpet and the bass tracks are more continuous as these instruments trail or sustain their notes a little longer. The notes are typically sustained longer and sort of decay before they die off. Before creating the text simulating the musical instruments, Remember that the music piece is about 30 seconds long. That's about a thousand frames, based on a 30 frames per second NTSC signal. So the first order of business is to start a new scene and set the animation length to a thousand frames. Next, you will assign the mix down to play with the animation. From the graph editor's menu, choose New Track View. Select the soundtrack and then right click it and choose properties. In the dialog that appears, click add and then browse and select the all instruments.wav file you downloaded for this tutorial. Click the close button in the bottom right corner to close the dialog. Close the track view window as well. Play back the animation. Although the scene is empty at this time, you should be able to hear the music playing in the background. Go to the Slate Material Editor and drag into it the four bitmaps needed for this tutorial. These include the JPEG files named Bass, Conga, Lake Ref Gold, and Jazz Background. You'll be creating materials based on these bitmaps later. Finally, set the rendering output to HDTV in 960 by 540 resolution. For good measure, turn on the Show Safe Frames option in the perspective view. In the next movie, you start creating text and shape it to simulate the various musical instruments.